Hey, what's up? Hope you're having a good day. So I just wanted to talk about something uh, which I have been seeing. I mean, it's not really something I've been seeing as well. Basically, everyone in the whole mouse community, almost everyone, prefers a lighter mouse. And I sort of wanted to talk about heavier mice today. Heavier mice as, as in like the G6 or 3. I'm sure this is notorious for its usage of batteries and its weight and stuff. Like... If you get this out of the box and you use their batteries, like the Duracell AA Alkaline batteries, like if you even if you use one of them, the weight is like 119 grams, which is like, which is like a fucking brick, honestly nowadays. Like, like even a, I, I'm sure even a G502 with this like weights removed is like lighter than this. Anyways, what I want to talk about is weights and mouse pads. Basically, it's it's a theory or something I have. But if you have a heavy mouse pad, I'm sorry, let me just reiterate that. If you have a heavy mouse, like for, let's say this, or maybe even a, a, a death adder or something, like like not the newer ones, the older ones, like this is a death adder 2013, or an essential, they're, they're basically the same thing. If you have like an older mouse and you, like a, a heavier mouse, and you want to play better, or you want to play similar to playing with a lighter mouse, I like... You should firstly check if you have a speed mouse pad. If you have a speed mouse pad, well, you're fucked. But if you don't have a speed mouse pad, like let's say you have a, well, you have a normal cheap mouse pad or something, or you have a control pad, I sort of want you to try switching to a speed mouse pad because this I have here is the Fantech, uh, the Fantech Vigil series, the four five two I think. And it's like a, it's a large mouse pad. And what I think is that, I wouldn't say there's a balance, but there's a sort of similarity or like a closeness to using a, a lighter mouse. And yes, it has some skins. I'll, I'll talk about that some other time. It is a lighter mouse, like the MM710, in a control surface and using something like a G603 in a speed surface. Now, I, I will say one thing. Before today, I have been using a mud pad almost, as you can, if you can even call it a mud pad, uh, a six millimeter thick, uh, large, basic Microsoft mouse pad. And it has been my go to for like three years. But I sort of realized the moment I tried another mouse pad is that mine is like an extreme, not an extreme, but like a really, really high friction mud pad. Like it's like really slow. And I sort of did notice that, and I ne I could never play well with this mouse. I, I really like this mouse, all right? Like, to the point where I even, like, I added, uh, as you can see, AAA batteries. That could, it's a dry cell. We couldn't find lithiums here. Uh, here's, this is for stability. And I even removed the tensioning, which brings the total weight down to around 93, 92 grams. And even still, it, w it was like really hard for me to aim because there was just so much friction and so much weight just involved in the whole thing. Where at the end of the day, if I, if I just used something like uh, the MM710, which has been, which has also been my main throughout like the whole of 2020, I just aimed a lot better with this because straight up, this was lightweight. And it sort of countered the whole friction of my mouse bed, but I think like today, I, I have another mouse pad which I've been which I had for a while. It's it's this one. It's like a fake uh Navi. It's, it's like a fake Steel Series Navi, but it's like the thinnest I have, two millimeters I think, or is this three? I, th I think it's like two or three millimeters, and it's like three or four millimeters thickness or something. And it's like the fastest mouse pad I have. It's like borderline hard almost. You like you really can't squeeze through it. Uh, while, while this one's a bit softer, this is another one on the side here, but I, I have, I've used that with this and I immediately noticed a difference. Like, I immediately noticed a difference with it. So, I went off and bought this, the Fantech one, and my gameplay tremendously increased. Like, like, like I'm not saying this is the best mouse or something, well, it'll change your fucking gameplay. It'll, you'll turn into a Radiant or like a Global Elite or uh, whatever Overwatch equivalent or something. What I'm saying is that 
after buying this, and this is like a very speed bed, not really a very speed bed, I haven't tried a lot of the, or any of the artists or extra beds and stuff like that, but it's like a very speed bed, and I did have to turn my sensitivity down by like 0 0.01, but I tried playing a couple of death matches, and I came out top fragger in like both of them, like either first or second, and even on the second I was like, um, way ahead of everyone else in like two or two, three death matches and stuff, and what I'm saying is that it it's making a difference. Like you may or may you like if you like a mouse shape, like for example the G four hundred three is like eighty seven grams or something. I mean it's not that heavy, but if you have like a G seven hundred three and you don't want to modify it by by like, putting the whole mouse apart, by like, removing stuff, you know this and that, moving the batteries and stuff. You can try getting a speed mouse pad and it might make a difference for you. You might have to see for yourself. But for now, I, I am doing oh, sorry, I just hit the I am doing pretty well with it and I significantly improved my aim for now. Maybe I'm just having a good day. I'm I'm gonna have to ch uh see how it goes. But yeah, I'm doing pretty well with it. I even played like a custom with like friends and stuff, it was like a five v five. And I, I was the top fragger in their team too. Well it, my Maybe we were losing, but I, I was the only one getting kills and stuff. I, I, I feel a lot better with aiming with this. Although the only, like, issue, not really issue, but the only concern I have is that with this, the MM7 thing is going to be too fast for me. So, yeah, that is for another video. That's all I have to say. If you, like, I'd say you can try this out. Like, if you have a heavy, like, for example, if you have, if you have the G502 and you want to, keep using the G502 for, you know, the various reasons, or maybe you just can't afford a light, lighter mouse, because most of the lighter mouse, like, if you want to buy a good lightweight mouse, other than the Viper Mini, you have to, like, spend a bit of money. If you can't afford that, you can buy a speed pen and stuff, and see how it is. And, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it for the video, and feel free to leave a comment. We can have a discussion about this and stuff. And yeah, that that's all I had to say. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Yeah, see ya.